Hello, Brian Lynch here. It's February 8th, 2012. Over the course of starting up an orchard, I've bought from numerous mail order nurseries in order to get a really good selection of trees on my land. Now, while mail order nurseries are excellent in terms of the variety of trees they provide, they also have a dramatic range in terms of quality. So, I figured I'd do a review of those nurseries I found to be good, those I found to be not so good, and hopefully somebody will learn from the mistakes I made. In 2009, I placed an order for about 30 trees from Adams County Nursery. And uh, I liked them so much that I, the next year I put in an order for 100 trees from there. Now, all the trees I've gotten from them are uh, of really good size. And uh, despite my subpar gardening skills, all of them are uh, still living. Uh, there is no minimum order at Adams County Nursery, but uh, there's a pretty substantial price break if you buy 25 trees. Uh, it's one of those nurseries that uh, I would definitely recommend. In 2011, I ordered four blackberry bushes from Bottoms Nursery. And, uh, I ordered two Arapaho bushes and two Navajo bushes. And uh, when I was uh, giving people my shipping information, they uh, informed me that uh, these bushes uh, weren't really well suited for the uh, colder climates in Indiana, and they tried to steer me to a couple other bushes uh, they thought would do better. And uh, I gotta say that I really appreciate uh, when a nursery will try and go out of their way to, uh, you know, find something that's uh, better suited for their customer. Uh, but I was really set on those particular bushes, and I had them ship those anyways. Uh, and uh, they all arrived quite well, packed, uh, of decent size, and they all grew quite well uh, during that summer. So yeah, uh, over my, based on my experiences with uh, Bottoms Nursery, I would uh, definitely recommend them. For Border Nursery, uh, this is an interesting situation. Back in 2011, I ordered a single apple tree from them. And when it arrived, it was a really good caliper uh, trunk. It had many lateral branches. It was a, a really good tree and it grew extremely well throughout the entire year. Uh, so I've got to say that the quality of product they provide is great. Uh, however, uh, they sent me a bill for the tree, you know, what I was expecting, and I promptly paid it. And uh, I thought everything was great. However, a couple weeks later they sent me another bill uh, explaining that uh, they had undercharged me by a couple dollars, you know, nothing huge, and uh, they requested I uh, pay the balance on that. Now, I can understand a company making a billing mistake, uh, but most companies, if they make a mistake and it's for a trivial amount of money, they won't risk offending their customers uh, in order to recoup that cost. Uh, I know where I work, we certainly won't, uh, and I'm surprised that Boyer Nursery would. And uh, because of that, it... Uh, gave me a lot of doubts about their whole operation and because there's so many good nurseries out there uh, I just don't see any need to ever order from them again. In 2011 I ordered a single apple tree from Burnt Ridge Nursery and uh, I've got to say uh, they have one of the better selections online. Uh, the prices uh, from what I recall were pretty good, not fantastic, not terrible, but uh, they're pretty good. Uh, however, they're one of those nurseries where the trees that you get are first-year whips. Uh, basically, they look like little twigs. Uh, so, you know, the, pro the quality of their product isn't all that great. Uh, I will say the, uh, the one tree I got lived, so, uh, you know, 100% of the product they've sent me has grown, so I really can't complain about that. And they have a good selection, but uh, don't expect to uh, be impressed with the size of the tree they sent. I would order from, the, from them again, and uh, in fact, in uh, 2012, I did put in another order from them because uh, they had varieties that uh, I weren't, wasn't able to find uh, at other places. c and Nursery. Uh, in 2011, I ordered uh, three trees from them. It seems like every year they run an internet special of three trees for $30. Uh, it's actually three trees for $50 because the 30 doesn't include shipping, and you should expect to probably pay about $20 in shipping and handling. Uh, but even still, three trees for uh, $50 is pretty good. They have a, a pretty decent selection. Uh, they don't have nearly the selection of Adams County Nursery from what I saw, uh, but they do have a, a pretty good uh, selection. 
and uh, you know, three trees for thirty dollars is uh, a pretty good deal for such a small order. Uh, when I placed the order, uh, they let me know exactly what caliper size trees they had available in each of the varieties I wanted and one of the variety was only available in a smaller caliper and they really did try to get me to go into a, a, a switch to a different variety in order to have a larger size tree uh, but I was really set on one particular variety so uh, even though the tree they sent me was kind of small or at least one of them was uh, it grew well and they told me ahead of time that it was uh, going to be small so I can't fault them for them, that and I would uh, definitely consider uh, ordering from them again. Double A Vineyards. I have a friend who is starting up a vineyard and winery in uh, upstate New York and uh, I asked him for a recommendation of places to uh, get grapevines from and he recommended Double A Vineyards and uh, they really do have a fantastic selection of grapevines. Uh, they don't have any minimums to order uh, but uh, I would say that the effective minimum is 50 grapevines because the price drop at 50 grapevines is dramatic. I, uh, there's You might pay $7 per vine if you're only ordering 10, but if you order 50 of the same, or 50 vines, uh, you might be paying $2 a vine. So it, it's just ridiculous how much uh, it drops when you order 50 vines. Now, I ordered uh, 50 vines, of course, uh, in order to get the price break, and all 50 vines were arrived packed quite well, and all 50 lived. Uh, well, uh, let me say they all sprouted uh, and grew quite well until the uh, Japanese beetles attacked, and I was only out at my orchard every uh, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, yeah, the uh, the vines didn't handle that too well, and uh, I, I'll be lucky if half of them have survived to this year. But uh, overall, the quality of the product they provided was uh, excellent, and I would highly recommend. Uh, using AA Vineyards if you uh, need to get a uh, selection of grapevines. Henry Fields. Uh, this company also goes by the name of Scarlet Tanager, Gurney Seeds, or uh, Gardens Alive. I think there might be a couple other ones as well. And in my opinion, uh, if you find a company that goes by many different names and they're a mail order company, that's usually not a good sign. It probably means that, you're, that they're trying to uh, hide from their reputation instead of banking on it. So my expectations were pretty low for this company. But uh, I placed an order for an apple tree and an apricot tree. And uh, so far, uh, both of them are uh, doing quite well, uh, despite being what I consider to be little twigs. You know, they're growing. It's kind of what I expected. Uh, they're certainly not the uh, large caliper or diameter trucks that you get from a place like uh, Adams County Nursery or CNO, but uh, you know they're growing quite well, so I can't complain about that. Uh, the the trees you get are kind of pricey. Uh, it might be about twenty two, twenty three dollars for uh, you know a two foot twig, uh, but what sort of makes up for it is the uh, the shipping prices. Now my price, the total shipping for my order was ten dollars, and my order was divided up into the I got the apple in the springtime and the apricot tree didn't come until the fall. Uh, so they shipped two packages and the total for that was ten dollars. So even though the trees are kind of pricey, you save on the shipping. So you know overall I would recommend uh, going to Henry Fields if they have a variety that uh, you can't find any place else or uh, if you're only looking to get one or maybe two trees. Overall I, I was pleasantly surprised by them. Willis Orchards is one of the first mail order companies I ordered from. I uh, actually structured my order to Willis off of what Adams County Nursery doesn't carry. Uh, at the time, they were Adams was completely out of apricot trees, so I ordered some from Willis. And uh, Adams County Nursery doesn't have grapevines, so I ordered 10 grapevines from Willis Orchard. The uh, 10 grapevines I got from Willis Orchards, uh, they all grew quite well. Uh, they're all still alive to this day. And but uh, of the four apricot trees I got from them and for, got from Willis initially, only one out of the four grew. Uh, the other three died. But uh, since it was my first year gardening and planting trees, I just sort of attributed it to my uh, poor gardening abilities uh, and sent them back. Since Willis does have a replacement plan, and got uh, 
three replacements which I planted in the ground and uh, every single one of the replacement apricot trees died as well. So that means that only one out of the seven apricot trees that I got from Melissa Orchard grew, uh, which is uh, pretty bad. And if that weren't bad enough, in the second year the grapevines were in the ground, they produced some fruit, which I was pretty excited about. However, many of the varieties that I received from Willis were seedless. I had them all very well labeled, and uh, many of the grapevines that they sent me that they said were seedless, uh, turns out uh, that, yeah, they have seeds. Which leads me to believe that uh, you know, many of the grapevines that I have planted are now mislabeled. Uh, so that uh, doesn't really give me much uh, faith in uh, their product. And uh, I would uh, recommend avoiding this company if you can. It's uh, not worth the hassle and uh, there are many other better companies you can go to. So that's it for the uh, mail order companies that I've used in the past, uh, but I will be making a, another one of these videos sometime in the next year or so. I've ordered from five completely new mail order companies and will most likely be doing a review of them sometime in the future.